American men and women are set to be imminently drafted to fight for the globalists in World War III if Klaus Schwab gets his way. After the World Economic Forum leader was heard boasting that he has signed an executive order compelling the Biden regime to supply American bodies for the front lines. Schwab made the remarks at an event in Dubai earlier this week where he was speaking to 600 so-called experts on the topic of how to rule the world. When Schwab says jump, Biden says how high? Are the wars in Israel and Ukraine more than the United States can take on at the same time? We're the United States of America, for God's sake. The most powerful nation in the history, not in the world, in the history of the world. The history of the world. We can take care of both of these and still maintain our overall international defense. We have the capacity to do this, and we have an obligation to. We are the essential nation, as to, to, to Paris phrase, the former Secretary of State. And if, if we don't, who does? Since when did the U.S. have an obligation to fight foreign wars? And make no mistake, the globalists have big plans to reshape the entire world in the next few years. The world's at an inflection point. The world's changing. But we have an opportunity to make it. So imagine if we were able to succeed in getting the Middle East put in place where we have normalization of relations. I think we can do that. Imagine what happens if we, in fact, unite all of Europe and Putin is finally put down where he cannot cause the kind of trouble he's been causing. We have enormous opportunities. The elites are happy sending your money overseas forever and sending your children overseas to fight their globalist World War III. Are we going to let them? Before we dive in, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and join the People's Voice Locals community to join us in our mission, support the channel and gain access to uncensored content. Lord Rothschild admitted that his family created Israel as part of the great master plan for World War III. And now their agenda is playing out before our very eyes. The useful idiots on mainstream media were quick to call the attack Israel's 9-11. And they were closer to the truth than they'll ever realize. Just like the 9-11 attacks, the government was complicit and the military was ordered to stand down. And just like 9-11, the globalist elite are now rubbing their hands together at the prospect of launching more forever wars in the Middle East, more devaluation of currencies, more neglect of the people in favor of war, death and the globalist agenda. At the time of the attack on Israel, security experts were stunned and said that the Hamas attack didn't make any sense and bore all the hallmarks of an inside job. Now we know that the Israeli government did know about the attacks in advance. The Times of Israel, Associated Press and Al Jazeera are all reporting that Egypt warned Israel of a major attack coming from Gaza 10 days before the events of the weekend. But Israeli officials chose to ignore it. And now we know why Israeli forces took seven agonizing hours to respond to calls for help from terrorized citizens. Here's Lauren Whisk with more on the stand down order issued by Netanyahu to the Israeli military. Netanyahu intentionally let Hamas kill Israelis. Both the IDF and the Israeli Air Force both stood down for seven hours. You won't believe what a Jewish charity leader told me today. Israel has the most sophisticated intelligence in the world. There was no way the government didn't know that that was going to happen. Mm -hmm. We're friendly uh, with uh, several good people in Israel. One is Rabbi Hananya Weissman. He knows a lot of people in Israel. He knows confidential sources that he shared with us their information that about the stand-down order. And he sent out a missive that, indeed, the IDF was given stand-down orders, both the Army and the Air Force, seven hours to stand down while those attacks took place. And this allowed the terrorists to come in and begin slaughtering and torturing the uh, citizens. The 9-11 parallels don't stop there. After this quick break, we will reveal exactly how we know the elite's plans for the next few years. Hint. All right, Shalom, Shalom. Before I begin, let me start out by giving our honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach in the course where I learn this truth. Peace and salutations to the Lord's elect. All right, I'm gonna get into this morning lesson right quick. Well, early afternoon lesson. All right, dealing with the first part of this uh this video I got, I just showed you the first what four minutes, four minutes or so of it. All right, and we're gonna break down what you've seen in that four minutes. All right, this devil said a lot. All right, so before we begin, let me get my scriptures ready. We're gonna start out in the book of Psalm 64. All right, 
because it talked about uh, the chlor- uh, chloro swab dude. All right, how he's um, basically running this this shit over here. All right, um, you know, uh, the dude made the statement to say uh, Ch- Ch- Carl, whatever the fuck his name is, the swab nigga. He says jump, and Biden says how high. All right, and um, if you paid attention to the news yesterday. Uh, October 19th, year 2023, which was yesterday. All right, you seen Creepy Sleepy Joe. All right, he, um, he had a, uh, a, uh, what they call it, address to the nation and shit. All right, and he wants to send, I think he said 100 million or 100 billion, he said something like that to them, uh, Amalekites, the Israelis. All right, and he's already sent 100 million over there to the Ukrainians. All right, so. This is a, a, a strategic way to devalue the dollar and, um, you know, break down the, the currency, all right? And it's being made bare, all right, what these people playing is, all right? This dude on the screen, you see he's, you know what I'm saying, talking a lot. And the scripture said that in the last days, all right, he will make um these devil's tongue fall upon him, all right? So let's read some of it in Psalm 64. All right, we're going to start at verse 1. It say, hear my voice, O power, in my prayer preserve my life from fear of the enemy all right the enemy is esau he's the number one enemy on this earth all right verse two it say hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity all right secret counsel of the wicked the illuminated ones all right and you've seen um what you about to see in the next part they're gonna have this albert alvin pike dude talking about what he was talking about all right back then all right everything is starting to um come to light all right through the spirit and power of your how about me i was shy all right so it say the secret council of the wicked all right the illuminated ones on the left hand side all right so uh let me read verse three it say who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows even bitter words all right and they're getting ready to draft you americans all right you know man it's gonna go down over here all right Verse 4, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? All right, and that's the pride of Esau, all right? Let me see, uh, verse 6, they search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search, both the end without of every one of them. And their and the heart is deep, all right. They meditate in, on wickedness, all right. The scripture tell you when um Psalms, uh, what is it? Uh not Psalms, Proverbs uh four and sixteen, that they lose sleep if they don't if they ain't able to cause something to fall. All right, let me get it right quick. Proverbs We can read sixteen and four and four and sixteen. <laughs> All right, Proverbs 16 and 4 reads, The Lord had made everything for himself, yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. All right, so let me read that. Let me read it in uh, the other one now. 4 and 16. <laughs> oh, excuse me. All right, now this is Psalms 4. I mean, not Psalms, so like Proverbs 4. Forgive me, y'all. In verse 16, and it reads, For they sleep not except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. All right, that's these Edomites. All right, and the elite of Esau. All right, so uh, let me jump back now to that Psalms 64. All right. And we read verse six. Verse, well, let's read verse seven. They say, "But your how about some will shall shoot at them with an arrow? Suddenly shall they be wounded, so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away." All right, and that's what's happening to Esau. All right, y'all forget him. scamming ass motherfuckers. All right, but that's what's happening to Esau. All right, he's being made bare. All right, starting with Amalek, the chief house of Esau, the chief house of the devil. All right, and you heard what that uh. That Joe Biden nigga had to say, all right. He's proud, all right. He was like, um, shit, we we can fight all these wars and, and and still be good, all right. You know what I mean? That's what he said, and that goes to that Psalms ten, all right. And uh, let me see, verse six, Psalms ten and six. It say, 
he's he had said in his heart, I shall not be moved for I shall never be in adversity. All right, and that's how these devils truly think. All right, he was like, we could, that nigga, uh, Antiochus Biden said we could, we could do, did, fight those wars. All right, being um, fight against Iran and fight against uh, ultimately it's gonna be Russia and China. All right, and still have the ability to um, police the world, so to speak. And that motherfucker is sadly mistaken. All right, you gonna come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, as it says in Isaiah forty-seven. All right. Let me see. One second. This is Psalms 2. All right, it reads, Psalms 2 and 1, Why do the heathen rage? And the people imagine a vain thing. All right, the heathen. All right, number one, heathen being Esau, Edom. All right, it says, The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord, Yahweh, and against his anointed saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us, all right? And and creepy sleepy Joe, he ain't he ain't he ain't on the level. He's a puppet, all right. He's Charles Carl Swab's puppet, all right, as he as he said, all right. He does his bidding. Alright. Let me hit that Isaiah 47 right quick. Isaiah 47 and 1. Come come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. That's talking about you meet you Edomites, all right, over here in America especially. All right, sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. All right. These are coming to you, Esau. Let me see. Uh, let me jump down a little bit. Let me see. I'm going to jump down. Let me see. I'm going to jump down to verse 7. It say, and thou sayest, I shall be a lady forever, so that so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst remember the latter end of it. All right, verse eight. Therefore, hear now this: thou that are given the pleasure, that dwellest carelessly, that sayest in thine heart, I am, and none beside me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. All right, you heard what creepy sleepy Joe said. He said, uh. America is going to continue to be America, all right? Verse 9, but listen to what the scriptures say. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment and one day, the loss of children and widowhood. They shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abund abundance of thy enchantments, all right? Verse 10, for thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast said, none seeth me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee. And thou hast said in thine heart, I am in there. I am in none beside me. Verse 11, Therefore shall evil come upon thee, that thou shalt not know from whence it riseth, and mischief shall fall upon thee, that thou shalt not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. All right, this was coming to you, goddamn Edomites. All right, let's let the second part of this play. We'll come right back with some more scripts, and Lord willing to continue to be able to find. Hints the elite believe in revelation of the method, and they've been telling us about their plans for centuries. But first, an important message from our sponsor. Anybody who's still on the fence about whether the hidden hand of the elite is currently orchestrating world events should take a look at this Economist cover from 11 years ago. The Rothschild and the Economist magazine has a history of uncannily predicting the future with their covers. Let's zoom in on the detail in the top of the image. Did they have a time machine? The elite plan the future and adapt to how the public reacts to their plans. Those who know their history understand that the Rothschilds have been trying to claim Palestine's sovereignty for centuries. In 1829, they offered the huge fortune of 35 million piastres to the Turkish Sultan. Now they're making their move in the exact manner that Albert Pike told us they would in his foundational Illuminati text published way back in 1871. That's right. The events that are playing out before our very eyes have been in the works for centuries. Have you heard of Albert Pike's Three World Wars? For those of you that haven't, this is Albert Pike. According to Encyclopedia.com, he was the leading American Masonic scholar of the 19th century. Albert Pike claimed to have received a vision, which he wrote down in a letter in 1871. This isn't hearsay. This can be found in the U.S. archives at archive.org. And it was also displayed in the British Museum Library in London. He describes three world wars. Two world wars have obviously already happened, but I'm going to read you what he said about the third world war. 
The Third World War must be fomented by taking advantage of the differences caused by the Asian tour of the Illuminati between the political Zionists and the leaders of the Islamic world. The war must be conducted in such a way that Islam, the Muslim Arabic world, and political Zionism, the state of Israel, mutually destroy each other. Meanwhile, the other nations, once more divided on this issue, will be constrained to fight to the point of complete physical, moral, spiritual, and economical exhaustion. We shall unleash the nihilists and the atheists, and we shall provoke a formidable social cataclysm in which all its horror will show clearly to the nations the effect of absolute atheism, origin of savagery, and of the most bloody turmoil. Then everywhere, the citizens, obliged to defend themselves against the world minority of revolutionaries, will exterminate these destroyers of civilization, and the multitude, disillusioned with Christianity, whose deistic spirits will from that moment be without compass or direction, anxious for an ideal, but without knowing where to render its adoration, will receive the true light through the universal manifestation of the pure doctrine of Lucifer, brought finally out in the public view. This manifestation will result from the general reactionary movement, which will follow the destruction of Christianity and atheism, both conquered and exterminated at the same time. Klaus Schwab wasn't joking when he said they had penetrated cabinets of Western democracies and appointed his puppets. Biden is fully signed up to the agenda and determined to play his role in the elite's third world war. Were I a Jew, I would be a Zionist. And my father pointed out to me, I did not need to be a Jew to be a Zionist. For I am. Israel is essential to the security of Jews worldwide. Ask yourself this, will Biden make the situation even worse when he makes what CNN are even admitting is a high-stakes trip to Israel this week? You can bet your bottom dollar he will. Violence begets more violence. The elite are determined to send humanity on a race to the bottom while they get richer, tighten the noose around humanity's neck and enact their long-planned agenda for World War III and a one-world government. Are we going to let them? Here are the people's voice. We are determined to continue exposing the crimes of the globalist elite, but we need your help. All right, so I showed you that one. All right, and you heard what was said. All right, um, uh, about what, what the what the Edomite woman was saying about the Albert Pike individual. All right now, he ain't no fucking prophet. All right, you know, it's just the Lord put His Spirit on all flesh. All right, even back then, He had some of these devils say things that's playing out t today. All right, and that dude Albert Pike is probably back today. In some shape, fashion, or form, all right? I'm sure he is, all right? Or he's been back, all right? This is uh, Revelation 11 and 14. It say, the second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly, all right? These are talking about the destructions, the World War One, Two, II, and Threes, all right? Albert Pike didn't do nothing but uh, have a certain understanding of the Bible, all right? He had a little, little understanding as far as the woes go, all right? And um, again, these devil's tongues is falling upon them. Let me read that scripture again. Psalm 64. All right, in uh, verse 8, they say, So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves, all right? And Esau has been made bare, all right? And the only people who are able to see this is the elect, all right, starting with the 144,000 being the prophets, all right? And, and uh, the, the one-third who was able to receive the message of the prophets, all right? We we see this, all right? The world can't 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 perceive it the way we can they can see certain things about it but they can't they can't tie it all the way in into um biblical prophecy the way the house of david can all right and listen to the pride of this devil right here listen to how he speaks all right this motherfucker can barely walk and can barely remember what he about to say but when it comes to speaking about you know what i'm saying this manners that he's speaking about he's on point all right look listen to how uh how he, how he raises his voice and shit. Listen to creepy sleepy antiosis. Joe Biden. For I am. Would be a Zionist. And my father Biden is fully signed up to the agenda and determined to play his role in the elite's third world war. Were I a Jew, I would be a Zionist. And my father pointed out to me, I did not need to be a Jew to be a Zionist. For I am. Worldwide. All right, that's that devil in him coming out. All right, man, this is a beautiful time to be alive. All right, to watch these devils. All right, think they're actually gonna get their uh their plan off. All right, but they're they're, they're not gonna they're not gonna not gonna win. All right, this is Job twenty and verse four. 
It says, No, it's not this of old, since man was placed upon the earth that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. All right, so you, you, you in the end of your, the last moments of your rule, Esau, right? And the scripture tell you, right when you about to fill your belly, let me jump down. Let me see, uh, Gonna stay in this same chapter. We're gonna jump down to 15 and say, He has swallowed down riches, he shall vomit them up again. Yahweh Bashmi Abashar shall cast them out of his belly. All right, let me see. Yeah, verse 23 When he is about to fill his belly, Yahweh Bashmi Abashar Power shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. All right, he shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bow of steel shall strike him through. It is drawn, it cometh out of the body, yeah. The glittering sword cometh out of his gall, terrors are upon him. All right, the Lord gonna use them ICM, ICBM missiles to bomb you Americans and you Israelis. All right, he gonna use Gog and Magog, which is Russia today, as well as China, North Korea, all right, uh, Tomar, and the rest of the nations, even NATO and the EU is gonna turn on America. They gonna side with the bear. All right, and they're going to fire missiles off on this bitch as well as on Israel, all right? That's going to be how this place going to go out, all right? Esau, I think he's going to last forever. Nah, nigga. You know what I'm saying? The only thing that lasts forever is the kingdom of heaven, all right? And that's surely uh and fastly approaching, all right? And you devils are going to be slaves in it, all right? You know what I'm saying? Starting with the chief house of Edom being Amalek, all right? Hold on, let me see what else he said. Ask yourself this. Will Biden make the situation even worse when he makes what CNN are even admitting is a high-stakes trip to Israel this week? You can bet your bottom dollar he will. Violence begets more violence. The elite are determined to send humanity on a race to the bottom. While they get richer, tighten the noose around humanity's neck. But it ain't gonna happen, all right? You know, they don't, they, they trying to do it, but it ain't gonna happen, all right? Let me see, uh, I'm staying this Job 20. It say we're gonna go to verse. Let me see. Verse 26 say, All darkness shall be hid in his secret places. A fire shall not blown, a fire not blown shall consume him. It shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. Alright. The heaven shall reveal his iniquity, and the earth shall rise up against him. Alright. That's what's coming to Esau. I say the increase of his house shall depart and his goods shall flow away in the day of his wrath. This is the portion of a wicked man with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Power and the heritage appointed unto him by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Power. So Esau, you were just raised up to be put down. All right, as I tell you in Romans, the same, the same reason that the Lord raised up Pharaoh was to show his power. And it's the same reason he raised you up, the modern day Pharaoh. All right, Esau, Edom. All right. And it's going down, all right? So, you know, this is just a early afternoon lesson. All right, the spirit was rolling, and I want to um, put up some right quick before I go to work. So uh, I had a couple of clips. I had the scripts on point. I mean, uh, and, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to put some up, Lord willing. It was edifying. It flowed together. Made sense. Any comments, questions, anything, you know, just leave for me in the comment section. And I'll do my best to clear it up or answer, you know, whatever it is that's being asked. All right, and, um... Yeah, rejoice, all right? You know what I'm saying? Sit back and watch America go up in smoke, all right? Stay on fire for your Habashim Yahweh Keep the fear of your Habashim Yahweh And we almost out of here, all right? All honor, glory, and praise go to Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach the quest rather than his truth. Peace and salutations to Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai's elect, the house of David, Kwame Asherah, and Wild Baba Ball.